and if we live the beatitudes we will be the salt of the earth and light of the world how beautiful at the feet of those who bring good news hello and welcome to divya vachan the sunday scripture reflection series we have Reverend Father Benson Villiavuttel bringing the good news to us. This episode is a reflection for the 5th Sunday in ordinary time. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St Matthew. You are the salt of the earth, but if salt has lost its taste, how can its saltiness be restored? It is no longer good for anything, but it is thrown out and trampled under foot. You are the light of the world, a city built on a hill cannot be hid. No one after lighting a lamp puts it under the bushel basket, but on the lampstand, and it gives light to all in the house. Let your light shine before others so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father in heaven. Dear friends in Jesus Christ, following upon the teaching of the beatitudes, Jesus uses the metaphors of salt and light to describe the life of discipleship. We take salt and light for granted in a society, but these commodities were more precious in ancient cultures to tell you the fact salt was used in Jesus's time for seasoning as a preservative and as a healing agent whereas the widespread use of electricity in the modern world makes us less aware of the value and importance of light in our lives therefore Jesus puts this ideal to us as disciples salt of the earth light of the world and if we live the beatitudes we will be the salt of the earth and light of the world there is so much for us to reflect upon Jesus says you are the salt of the earth and light of the world but are we This is really what we should be. The spirit is living in us and we are called to be open to God's will. What does salt do? It preserves, it purifies, and above all, it gives flavor. All of us know when the food is prepared with less salt, we miss the real taste. It loses its flavor. And the idea is that the presence of christians in society should give flavor should give taste should give quality should bring gospel to the society and that mainly by our lives our work love concern reaching out to others solidarity and through corporal and spiritual works of mercy thus we become the salt of the earth very similar light of the world jesus is giving a compliment to us jesus said i am the light of the world in john 8:12 and now here jesus says you are the light of the world meaning in close communion with jesus the spirit lives in you then you are the light once again here the light is what the light gives brightness takes away danger because you know where you are going it alerts you to everything it's something which attracts people people know where it is and that's what you are supposed to be brightness alerting people an example to the lives of people again christians are meant to radiate the light of christ in civil society and so we ask ourselves 
how we can be the salt of the earth and light of the world. That's really a very high calling for each of us. And we do that by living the Beatitudes. Jesus spoke of blessed are the poor in spirit. Blessed are they who mourn. Blessed are the meek. Blessed are the peacemakers and merciful. And so on in Matthew 5, 3 following. It's time for us to make an examination of conscience and to see how we could really live these Beatitudes more and more. You and I will not be able to reach the bar Jesus raised, but we have got to at least be conscious of the need, begin to prepare ourselves and want to sincerely live the Beatitudes. When we do these things with the community of faith, the church, we are indeed acting as a city set on a mountain that cannot be hidden. So as disciples of Jesus, let us live our Christian identity as salt of the earth and light of the world by sharing God's fragrance of forgiveness, God's perfume of mercy, and God's aroma of love. Join me next Friday at 6 p.m. to experience the goodness of God.